Hey, Ryan, I'm really glad that you're here. I just wanted to touch base with you real quick. We are hitting the cocks, and this is New Music Monday! So, hello, howdy, and welcome. <laughs> Hi. What's yeah. Up? We're here with Hen and the Cox today. If you guys wouldn't mind introducing yourselves to the, the people. I'm Ryan. Cool. I'm Blake. I'm Joanne. I'm Trent. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm out of the <laughs> shot. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, how long have you guys been playing music? As a band? Individually and collectively. Oh, well, man. Well, let's, uh, I guess, start as a band. Um, we started in 2014, 2014. so we're yep. going on four years. Just the three of us the in 2014. We recruited a bassist, like, a few months later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, then started playing little house shows in Denton. Yeah. And at our old I decrepit joined, house. Yeah. <laughs> a little over a year ago. Yeah, Ryan's been in August of 2017. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right yep. So. so what about individually? How long have you guys been playing or, you know, doing music in any capacity? Shit, over a decade. Yeah. 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 I'd say for me about uh, at least 15, 15 years, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. I still don't think I make music. Uh, there's just noises <laughs> that come out of my amp. That's fair. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> uh, I just started out in musical theater, oh, which wow. was in... T- I was still in Victoria... I was in Peter Pan the Musical. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. oh man, no, I was Tiger Lily. I got cast oh, wow. as like the main, the lead Native American. So Ooh. it was less PC back then. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And uh, but yeah, no. As soon as uh, as soon as I got cast in that role, I fucking fell in love with singing. Mm-hmm. And now here I am in a band. Blah blah blah. Yada, yada. What song or songs is are on the roster for the music video? Man, I want to. I still want to do Prey. Uh, well, I think like almost all of them are still on the roster. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we Which one have ideas? Oh, you know, it'd be a good idea for this song. Always talking song, about it. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. We've all come so. up with like really good ideas for music videos. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think we should do <laughs> just an <laughs> the, whole the album. album. Do, a, do, do album. a video yeah. album. <laughs> That'd be really cool. So there's actually a band that I really like that was kind of an influence on like the mixing process of our album they're called Skating Polly they're freaking oh, yeah. amazing uh, but they have a habit of literally every song on their album will release a video for and mm-hmm. they're usually like really simple things but they're just cool I think it's just such a cool concept that they just have this plethora of music videos they've got like three albums at this point and so there's like uh, probably around like 40 music videos they have wow uh, are the songs on this album interconnected or are they standalone that's Real? a good question. There's a, definitely a common theme. Yeah, but I wouldn't yeah. say like they tell a narrative necessarily. No. Nah. Yeah. But there's definitely some underlying themes that kind of bounce from song to song. Right. Right on. And what would you specifically say those themes are? <laughs> Joe being a hippie about conservationism. I'm not a hippie about it. I'm the <laughs> furthest thing from a hippie. You can <laughs> imagine. I'm not a hippie. Like you can't start by saying what you're not. You know, like, points directly like that. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I was raised by hippies. That's for sure. There you go. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of hippieism mm-hmm. in my blood, but um, but mainly like I got my degree in conservation biology, and I've always been like very like proactive about environmental protection and conservation specifically of like different animal species because I love animals and um like the snake bunny mm-hmm. well <laughs> snake bunny is actually an outlier because snake bunny is actually about um that's kind of almost inspired by our road trip to California mixed with Kill Bill okay because she's she's a bounty hunter in like the American like southwest um and so she just prowls route 66 Waiting and her for name her. is Snake Bunny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she goes by the alias of Snake Bunny because she was actually, you know, she was orphaned as a child. And so she actually gets raised by animals, n- native animals, in the painted desert like as, as she was, <laughs> when she was a kid. And uh, so, yeah. Snake Bunny. Uh, who are your three primary influences? Ooh. Damn. Oh, man. You can do individually as well as a band. Okay. So, um, if that helps at all. I yeah, yeah. Helps. I would say probably for this album specifically, yeah. because there's a lot of stuff like most musicians listen to that 
people go, oh yeah, fucking love Slayer. It's like you play in a bluegrass Slayer. band. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's okay. you can love a band and not be an influence on your sound. Right. And so uh, for me, it coming into them, I think the one side like that I tried to bring out more was a lot of like the really late eighties, early nineties, like sludge and grunge stuff. So a lot of like Mud Honey, Melvins, that kind of stuff. And it really kind of shaped the way that I played bass in writing the songs that we wrote for the album and everything like that. It, I, I was focusing more on basically playing like a really thick rhythm guitar than I was bass. Gotcha. So I, I would definitely say, like I said, Mud Honey was one of them. I uh, loved the, the tone of Melvin's. And then, like I said, Skating Polly was um, a band that I discovered towards the end of our recording process. So it really shaped more so how the album came out getting mixed Gotcha. In the production side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Skating Polly is great. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think for me, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say for uh, for this band, and especially for the direction we're in now, it's kind of, as Ryan was saying, it was a lot of um, early 90s kind of mm-hmm. punk, grunge, you know, post-grunge type stuff as well. Um, no bands in particular that I can think of off the top of my head, like, that were, it was kind of just like a culmination of every type of sound from that period of time. As a guitarist, I have a, you know, and just as a musician in general, a ton of, you know, um, specific influences. But yeah, as far as like, for what shaped our sound for this band, I don't yeah. know, it's kind of hard to pinpoint because just kind of absorb everything. Right. Just kind of like play like, you <laughs> yeah. know, whatever. Yeah, hey, does it sound yeah. cool? Yeah, it sounds I mean, cool. I, Let's yeah. fuck with it. I, I have to of... give him credit though, and I've, I've joked about this before, that he will find a way to make the simplest riff complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, hey, hey, just play something like this. And you're like, I'm like, never would have thought about that, but okay. That actually sounds pretty fucking cool. So. Well, coming from a no musical training, it's just kind of a hodgepodge for me. Um, uh, so, so I guess for for this band specifically, um, once again, it's really really hard to pinpoint. Um, but I I think uh, just vocally, I was trying to channel more like you know, garbage, Gwen Stefani in the No Doubt stage. Uh, what else? Sleater uh, Sleater Kinney, uh, Rook Assault. That was another one. Um, and uh, the Breeders, which we got to see at ECL. That was pretty cool. Um, but performance-wise, like, Lady Gaga's my girl. <laughs> I, I uh, take yeah. so much influence, <laughs> performance influence from her. I, uh, I agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly with these guys as far as, like, the, the grungy early 90s sound. So... I try to just focus on playing that's the type of stuff that I still enjoy playing, but but uh, go off of like hey, Mud Honey or go off of Nirvana or go off yeah. of you know Foo Fighters mm-hmm. shit, you know play some like Taylor Hawkins stuff or play some lo- just stuff that's loud, mm-hmm. fucking ruckus and fun. So mm-hmm. nice. it, you know personally, that's what I try to go for. <laughs> So you guys just released the album. What is next for you? More albums. More albums. Music videos. Music videos. I was going to say retire. I mean, yeah. this is our yeah. song. Hang We're on our way out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, music videos is yeah. probably definitely yeah. the next thing. So, uh, it's a matter of just kind of... Us Finding focus. the right person. Yeah. To us focusing it. for a little bit and making it happen. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. planning some uh, area of focus and all that. Yeah. 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 And as we move past the holidays and right. you know start probably start playing more shows again. Um, try to play out of the DFW area a little bit more mm-hmm. and start actually more actively promoting yeah. the current album. Um, and yeah, shoot a music video and write and more hopefully music. multiple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in, all in between all that, yeah, yeah, write more music and start working on the next one. How much time did you guys spend in the studio for this record? Shit, about 16 hours? Yeah, so it was, mm-hmm. it was like Well, with going back days. to Joe's home studio. Oh, yeah. That's it right. It was about 25 hours total, I think, is what we came about up with. About total. Wow. Yeah, total studio mm-hmm. time. Wow. And you guys wrote, you said, uh, Roadkill and Query the week or two before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That's pretty crazy. much. Yeah, Which is funny because, because like, though, I think those are, like, two, two of our, our strongest yeah, songs. Yeah, Roadkill's one of my favorite songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Thank you. I really need to step up my game if you guys are just like, this is a pressure song? You know, yeah. 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 I had to crank this out. There it was, came in clutch, you know? Yeah, yeah. There were a few that we went into the studio, and, like, the day of, we were supposed to be recording, going, 
do we remember how to play this song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we man. wrote it and we're like, okay, move on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. We, we, we got we got to start cranking shit out. So we learned yeah. it, like wrote it, learned it, and then like went on to new yeah. stuff. And we're like, oh, recorded it on our own. Yeah, so that we yeah. Could at least remember it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. otherwise it would be gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Why don't you tear my heart out? Why don't you leave me bleeding on the side of the road now? I see you retreating. Yeah. Okay, so I got one more question for you guys. Because you're a four piece, how do you handle it when you guys are two and two and, and you're at odds? What is the deal breaker? How do you guys? Or have you even had an issue? Death with match. You? Yeah. <laughs> arm yeah. Arm wrestle. Yeah, arm wrestle. <laughs> Sock and bobbits. No. no, actually, <laughs> rock paper scissors. I think that we. I don't think we really ever gotten to that point because we try to be very understanding and yeah, we're, we're pretty, pretty democratic yeah, as a yeah, band. Yeah, very democratic. Mm. So. I think we have, actually going back to a previous question about epiphanies and whatnot, um, I think the one thing that I can say for us is that we're very respectful of each other and each Mm -hmm. other's opinions. And so even if it's like, man, I don't necessarily agree with the way that this song sounds, they really like it. And so that's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it means something to these members. So, you know, roll with it because you'll get your time later that you know, I want to put my foot down about this song and everybody's mm-hmm. going to kind of roll with it and go, that's cool. Yeah. 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 We, we all end up with our own kind of mark on certain songs, you know, when, you know, when it comes to, to writing and, and playing the songs. But, um, I think the time we probably end up most divided on things would probably be like show situations sometimes well, where like maybe you'll get hit shows. up and you'll yeah. like be like, Hey, I'm down to play this show. And then Trent might be at yeah, me too. But then the two of us may be like, uh, or maybe we're not now if we're, somebody's gone, so out of then that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's an, an obvious, obvious. Yeah. yeah. There's just a hard no, but it was just kind of like, Oh, you know, that's the times where we kind of have to talk it out a little bit and yeah. maybe weigh pros and cons, you know, of, of doing it. And then, you know, sometimes we, we, go the way of okay let's just yeah. do it and sometimes we go the way of okay we'll not do it you know? well that's kind of like the gig that y'all got us a couple of Saturdays ago we had a fucking blast yeah, it was great to see show, you guys yeah. again and uh, yeah. Tin Panther has actually been um, on the radar for mm-hmm. a venue that yeah, we've, we've yeah, been wanting to, to try out oh, yeah. right. so it actually worked out great yeah, yeah. Um, thank you again so, for coming yeah, so yeah. much like yeah. saving the day oh yeah. hell yeah no yeah it was and it was shout bad. out to you guys yeah. because yeah. that was a great place. show really fun like yeah, yeah. but it was yeah. just one of those things like he hit us up and it was like it was just kind of like an <laughs> indifferent sort of like yeah. Oh, well, we weren't really planning on, we didn't, you know, weren't, we're trying to not play tonight, you know, but then at the same time, I think all of us were kind of yep. like, eh, we could, it's in Fort Worth somewhere we haven't done. And the it. star yeah. is aligned where yeah. none of us is were doing anything. 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 Yeah. 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 So it was just one of those, like, I'm going to advance, so I know that never yeah. 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 It was yeah. just one of those things, like, well, I told Ryan, I was like, well, I'm cool if Trent's, like, Joe and I are cool. Like, we talked it out, like, first, and I was like, So yeah, I'm, I'm cool. sitting here having this little, like, yeah. telephone game with everybody individually, yeah. and everybody's like... Well, hey, if everybody else is cool, then let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah. every single person <laughs> That's said what that. That's what we all said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not opposed to it. So. And then eventually <laughs> we're just like, okay, we're just like, yes, because like, and because it was you guys who were like, Bath Light guys are like really cool. You guys were at our album release and everything like that. And, you know, oh, we yeah. definitely appreciate that. And we're like, you know what? We're, we're all here. Nothing Talking else about is that band appreciation, yeah, man. Like, you nothing gotta else be is supported. going on, you know, yeah, yeah. like. We could use, you know, playing at a new place, you know, that we haven't, you know, tried out yet. And um, we just kind of hadn't had any shows actually around that weekend. And we were kind of like, I was kind of itching, you know, yeah, I was kind of like, you know, I kind of want to play. So I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. So we did it. And it's it actually ended up working out really well. Rust yeah. was history. Yeah. Yep. So. Right on. Well, thank you guys so much for letting me talk to you and for yeah, answering my questions. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. Appreciate well, no, it. Thanks for having us. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out the video, the interview with Hen and the Cox. Make sure that you follow all the links that are in the description below. And thank you again. We really appreciate it. Make sure that you look at the other videos and stay tuned for next week's New Music Monday. You guys are the best. Have a good one. Oh.